Okay guys, I um, figured I'd do a little update here. Um, latest thing I've added to the trailer, I've been um, showing y'all videos every time I do a little update. Um, the newest thing I got now is these Weed Eater Racks. Um, you can get your top of the line Weed Eater Racks at 250 bucks. They'll have the little aluminum box in there and um, you know, though that way the weed eater won't turn at all and it'll be safe in there and they lock perfectly. It makes it real hard for people to steal them. So, yeah, those things work awesome. And if you want to spend 250 on them, go ahead. The only thing I don't like about those is, which was a pretty big deal to me, is those aluminum box are permanently on your weed eater, which makes it. I mean, they say, oh, it's aluminum, it doesn't have any weight to it, aluminum's weightless, but no, they, for something like a weed eater that's only 12, 13 pounds, those little aluminum blocks, you can tell the difference when you put them on there, and, uh, because they had one at my dealer, dude, and the hardware store, and, I, you know, they, little demo one, and I picked it up, and so you can tell the difference. It's not a huge difference, but it's enough to where when you're out there doing one of those big jobs, hour, hour and a half of weed eating, um, you know, you're going to be like, getting. it's going to make a difference. You don't want to be lugging that, swinging that around everywhere. So that was the main reason I didn't want to get those. And I just got these. And I'm all about saving a dollar too. If you've watched any of my other videos, you probably know that. Um, these things were at Lowe's, 75 bucks. Um, this is the little box they come in. Trailer utility rack. If you go to Lowe's, they'll try to tell you they don't have them, but they do. They're over by, they're not by lawn equipment or anything, at least at the two Lowe's I went to to get them. They're not, at, they're not by lawn equipment. They're over around where the toolboxes are and stuff like that for the trucks. Um, so if you find the toolboxes, they're going to be on that aisle probably. And they were kind of tucked underneath. You just have to look for that little red and yellow box. And they're 75 bucks, 80 with tax, I think. Um, definitely the cheapest ones I've seen. And they're pretty much like all the other ones, except for these are only made for a... Uh, flat top as you can see I have round bar so I had to weld them instead of I mean they come with the little holes where you if you have a flat top it'll be real easy because you can just drill a hole and uh, screw them on there and they'll be good or bolt them on there but and they come with the bolts and everything but this is a round bar so I had to weld it and then I repainted it over there it wasn't that long ago the weld's still kind of hot but um yeah, you, you just, <clears throat> but, I mean, they're, they work fine. I'll, I don't plan on using this or anything else, so I didn't mind welding them on there, no big deal. And uh, the only other thing that you have to do with these, because they are so cheap, they don't, so this is what they come like stock. They're just a bare, um, you know, piece of metal here, which will destroy your weed eater over, over a short period of time, bouncing around in there and going back and forth. This is just hard steel, and um, what I did is I, these are like little sliders for furniture that go on the bottom, and I just cut it the way I wanted to. I got a big sheet of it and cut it, and then put that in there. Then look at these. I wrapped electrical tape around here, and a bunch of it, keep it on there good, and then. That's what it looks like finished product, you know. And it's gonna, it makes it to where they're real snug in there too. Um, they're not gonna roll around or anything. See, I'm shaking it pretty hard. And that's all the big room it's giving. That's about what it's gonna do on the road, probably. That. So that's no big deal to me. And with the rubber in there, you can see it's real tight and stuff. It's not gonna slide either. I'm pushing on it. It's not going anywhere, barely any movement, so um, it's going to work out good. And the only thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go get some long locks. 
for this back part. I'm just going to put a long lock on there. That way nobody can steal them. Because it just comes with these little bolts like that. And there's no way to put a... I mean, I have tons of locks around here. But there's no way to put a lock through here. Unless it's a long one. And all the ones I have are short. So I got to get a short lock. I mean a long lock. To put in the back. And then I'll be good. And... I'm waiting. I haven't done this one yet. I figured I'd show you all the process and stuff with this one since I, I'm waiting on my weed eater to come in. I ordered another one, just an, another. This one's a the multi tool 254, but I just ordered a normal uh, T 254. Um, I I could have got 344, which is the most top of the line one, but I don't. I uh, me with the weight again is the main reason. I just it's like three i think two more pounds something like that i think these are like 12 and that one's 15 almost or something and you know with the weight and it goes through gas like crazy and it has a bigger gas tank which is going to be more weight too when it's full so you just add all that up and it really didn't the the cons outweighed the pros for me i mean yeah it's going to be stronger more heavy duty for like I guess if you're really getting into some big brush and stuff, but <laughs> I try to stay away from that stuff anyway. That's just harder way to earn money right there. You're doing all that brush cutting and crazy stuff like that. I'm trying to just stay, stick to the little perfect yards in the rich neighborhood. So for something like that, you don't need anything more than this 254 anyway. Even 254 is almost overkill for, you know, just old grandma's yard for 50 bucks. So... But yeah, I got another one because I definitely do need another one. I, I don't like putting eight hours a day on this weed eater or realistically probably more like four hours a day because probably spend half the time mowing and half the time weed eating. So, you know, you're looking at four or five hours a day on a weed eater. And it just, I don't want to, I could tell that it's kind of getting to it a little bit when I just run it all day long. So I want to have another one that way I can go back and forth and then I can make this one primarily an edge or two and not have to worry about switching back and forth from edger to weed eater. So I think that'll work out good. And I ordered it from a little place called SLE Equipment. I've been getting a bunch of stuff from there lately. It's on the internet. And uh, that place is awesome because you don't pay taxes and they usually are rock bottom like to where... The, I have I can't get it cheaper on eBay. I look, I look all over eBay. I look on Craigslist and all these other little online deal sites. And SLE equipment is one of the best I found to get brand new, good top of the line. And they got every every brand, every they got lawn mowers, trailers, everything. So I definitely recommend going on there and looking at their stuff if you want to save some money and get get your stuff sent to you free shipping and all that so i think i got my blower there it's been awesome i've been using it all year and it's been through a little bit and it's it's good and it was way cheaper than what the dealer wanted when you add up taxes and all that and i think it was almost a hundred dollars cheaper and the weed eater is going to end up being about fifty dollars cheaper than if i would have bought it at my dealer when you add the taxes and all that so you know 50 bucks every time you buy something that's it's gonna add up so yeah I definitely recommend it and um, if you have any questions about the deal here let me know let me know what you think I think it's gonna work out pretty good I kept them in the front because I want to add eventually I want to add another set back here so I kept them in the front and I put them on this side because there's a tire, spare tire mount on the other side, so it wouldn't have worked. So that's the reason why I chose this location. So let me know what you think.